They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite, but we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Will the guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan, like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire, but most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask, was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan, I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal, but I swear I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? 
You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Ah! <laughs> 
Get in here. 